guys welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be using the morphe 35m palette um so if you want to see what i create just keep on watching so this is what the colors look like um, I really wanted to do like a green look today. I don't know why. I know I did another green look the other day, but I think I just have like green on my, excuse me, on my mind. So I think that's what I'm just going to end up doing. So I'm going to uh, figure out where am I, oh, here it is. You know, of course I'm going to go in with my JH30 and I think I'm going to start off with this color right here and i'm gonna put that like as my like crease shade or my like transition shade however you want to say it i'm gonna take that color and i'm just gonna put this here so i hope everybody's having a good week um i'm having an okay week my legs started acting up again so i've been trying to walk a lot more which i did today i went out twice so it's kind of helping it like really hurts during the day and like well not during the day but like dead in the morning like that's when it really starts to hurt and i guess since it's like relaxed it's like not letting me sleep so i'm kind of like tired and annoyed like honestly when i'm like annoyed and when i'm like in pain i don't want to talk to anybody so it's like i rather just like do videos and do stuff that i really like to do and just not be bothered by anybody and it's not like a per like it's not personal it's just literally like just me shutting down because i'm so tired and i'm like getting kind of like blah because of my pain and like the stress from school and everything like that i just haven't been in the mood to really talk to anybody and like i know that's not a good thing like i talk to my friends but like at the same time it's like i really don't feel like being on the phone i don't feel like um having conversations like i don't know what it is it's just i'm not in the mood like i've been just blah lately so i just been like focusing on my homework focusing on my um like my videos and trying to get as many up there as i can and so that way i could kind of just relax but like doing my makeup and like talking like this is actually making me feel better because it's actually making me feel like I'm being more productive in my personal life instead of just my freaking school life and it's I feel like that's one of the reasons why my hair hasn't like gotten better because I've been so stressed out and it's not I feel like my hair is not gonna get any better until like I graduate and focus on something else other than freaking school all the time and it doesn't help because i'm still gonna have to go back to school because i have to go for my master's to be a therapist so it's like school is never ending all right so that definitely applied really nice i like it um so i'm going to uh take another blending brush if i can find the one that I'm looking for. It's this one. I could have sworn there was a one that was black from the Starry Night collection that I kind of like really liked, but I don't know if, which one it was. I can't even remember. So I'm going to just go in with the E3 brush. And I'm going to take this color right here and put that like, like right here. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, my nails are off and like 
they hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. I think it's because of like the way I had to take them off. It made my nail beds very sensitive. So my nails are very mad at me right now. So I can't even paint them because like the UV light hurts when I do that. When my nail beds are like very sensitive right now. So I can't even paint them. I'm not going to put any... Uh, um, nails on I think I'm just gonna leave my natural nails for a while because I don't feel like doing that and you know what I think like the reason why my legs started hurting again was because I was sitting at the table like the dining room table doing my nails for like an hour and a half trying to get all of them off and I think when I was sitting down the whole time that's when when it started to really like my legs started really fucking up again so that came out kind of okay I think it was a little too light I think I might have to go in with something a little bit darker so I think I'm going to go in with this color right here and I'm going to put that in, in the area, but I'm going to kind of like try to buff it out so it kind of blends in with each other. And like this whole like week that I've been in so much pain. I haven't been able to do like any like hardcore workouts and it's like driving me insane. Like I feel like I'm starting to become like a bum and basically going backwards with my progress. And now I'm like, I'm not getting like depressed depressed. It's like, cause that's like a, a big word saying depressed because that's kind of like something very serious but it's not like that it's just like i just feel blah like and i feel like like I, i'm like getting disappointed in myself for not working out and i know it's not like my fault it's not like my mentality it's my leg it's not like i don't have the motivation to work out or anything like that it's just I can't like it, it it's because it's out of my control and I like to be in control so when I can't do something I kind of get irritated and like my friend held um a meeting last night with like the group members for my um my workout program and they were like doing workouts on like a live zoom like they did a workout on live and it's like I can't join so I'm not going to go into the meeting if I can't even work out and then feel more crappy about myself so I'm not gonna I, I didn't join like I'm not gonna go ahead and do that if I'm in pain like I'm sorry but that's not happening so I just kind of felt like What's the use of me being in the meeting if I can't even work out? And like on top of that, like I had assignments due and it's it's hard to keep up with when I'm like doing all of these meetings and trying to be interactive and I can't because my legs in pain, like I can't I can't just sit here and do all of that like it's hard i think i'm going to take my e5 and i'm gonna go into that darker darker shadow which is this one right here i'm gonna go into that that's the one and i'm gonna put that in my outer corner.
I'm gonna take a, a blending brush and I'm gonna blend all that, but I just wanna get this on. Has anybody been watching uh, Van Helsing? Helsing, whatever. It's such a good show that like, I sit here when I get off the show thinking like other ways that they could have done, like they could have survived from what they just went through in that episode. I don't know. It's so weird. It's a good show though. I'm entertained with it. I watch it like here and there, but only when I have the chance. So I've been kind of like slow with it. Usually when I get into like a show on Netflix or something, I literally bench watch the whole series. So it's like I haven't been able to do that. And then on top of that, like my show Good Doctor came out and um, the last couple of episodes from Supernatural came out and I've been like kind of behind on them. And I haven't even been able to watch because I've been so, like, up in my head. All right, so I'm going to take my E12 and I'm just going to fan all of that. I think it's kind of, like, coming off, though. Yeah, see, it went on the brush. So I don't know probably have to like tap a little bit more in there um okay so there is this these two colors right here I kind of want to go in with this one or this one let me see these are what it looks like um, I could probably mix them. I'm probably going to mix them. So let me, and now that I don't have nails, it's so much easier now. I say that all the time. I notice that whenever I don't have nails, I always say that. Oh yeah, that done the trick. Okay. Hmm. They don't come off your finger very easy. One thing I have to say though, um, it when you're rubbing this color on it takes off the shadow from the bottom oh yeah mixing them two came out really nice I don't know if you guys can see it, but I feel like it's getting darker in my room for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel like it's getting darker in my room. Okay. Now I want to use this color. Where is it? this color right here in my inner corner I have to wipe with a makeup wipe because my towel isn't taking them off okay I'll just wipe all right take that color and put it in my inner
Hmm. I think this palette is probably getting old now. Because it's not sitting like on my eye. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but this eye always comes out better than this eye. I don't know why that happens. Alright, so I'm going to grab oh, there's my JH30. I'm gonna grab my JH30 and I'm just gonna fan it out right here. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna clean. There's a bubble. I'm debating whether or not I want to put liner on. I need to find a better liner, I think, because I don't think this one really works that well. I feel like I'm getting kind of quick with the, the liner now. At least with this part. So I think I'm just going to finish the rest of my face off camera and I will be back to show you the end results. Okay, so this is the completed look. So again, I love this palette. That's why I decided to use it. Um, I know like it's sometimes hard to work with, but I think once you get a hang of it, I think you'll be able to like really use it. Um, but I do really like this palette. I've always liked this palette. It always worked for me. Um, on my bottom lash, I just went in with, I think it was this color that I went in with. And then I did my liner, I did my eyelashes. I didn't put lashes on, but like I did my eyelashes with the um, Milani mascara and the Benefit Bad Gal mascara. And um, I went in with my tape shape, my sharp, my tart shape tape. And then I went in with my um, Derma Blend uh, setting powder. And I went in with my bronzer, my normal bronzer, my normal routine when it comes to like my face. Um, I didn't put any kind, um, any type of um, foundation or anything like that on my face. You guys already know that I tend to not put that on. Um, and yeah, I, I love this palette. Like I think everybody should have this type of palette in their collection. Uh, if you don't have it, I think Ulta still sells it. And it's again the 35M 35M palette. And uh, I don't remember how much it is normally, uh, but I know it's not that much. So, I mean, you guys can go and get your hands on it. It's a good palette. Um, I'm probably going to try to do another, uh, another look with another favorite of mine of theirs. And I'm going to just record that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe and click the notification button down below to get all my future uploads. I will be back very soon. And yeah, I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. Bye.